Ryan here, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be breaking down the Stalker platform by Evolved Hunter Design Group. Now, they did come out with first run Atom climbing sticks that I had purchased, I think last year. So I have a separate review on those. Uh, here's a set of these sticks here, 14 inch climbing sticks, just over a pound per stick. They lock in with the Versa button integration so they all hold pretty true together. And uh, just through that, I went ahead and purchased their standard uh, platform. Now, this is offered in two different sizes. This is, again, the standard, and then they have a large. So what you're seeing right here is the platform. Uh, it's machined from 6061 aluminum. Price point on this is at 220 bones and uh, comes in at two pounds, nine ounces, believe it or not. So. Um, just the value alone for what you get out of this kit is pretty solid because um, you do see some higher tiered price platforms uh, in that 250 and above range uh, and what you get from a quality standpoint and design is, is pretty solid in my opinion. Now this isn't the biggest platform uh, but overall the footprint is very close in total square inches to the uh, Predator platform. Very very similar uh in size uh but comes in at a less weight for just a little bit more money you're talking about 30 bucks more here for for getting something fully machined versus cast now this platform folds down and kind of is the design of this one of the features is to get this about as flat as possible so you'll see the post kind of naturally folds and recesses into the platform. Now it does have uh, the button on the adjacent side that kind of comes out, so there is that. I'm not sure if that's a pro or con yet, but in order to get that to fold as flat as possible, uh, that's kind of the, the outcome here is, is the button does come in on the other side. But overall, very flat, low bulk platform that also allows your sticks to fully nest and integrate. So here's a kit that I've kind of been playing around with, the atoms and the uh, platform here. Now just the size and uh, footprint on this, I have this paired with, yeah, I'm sure everyone has them floating around in your garage or pole barn or whatever, but they're those rubber bungees uh, with the two hooks on them. And there's machine holes on the bottom side. And all I did is hook the hooks through, they fit perfectly. And uh, I just take that bungee and loop it up right over the top of the Versa button that pops out on that back side of the platform. And it holds these sticks and locks everything in place. And it just makes it very easy to handle, um, you know, to kind of prevent that metal to metal contact. Obviously, I don't have stealth strips on this, but um, it just locks everything in in place. And uh, because this is pulling on the Versa button, it's also pulling the post in to the platform. So this isn't going to jar or get loose or, or want to rattle. So literally locks in the platform and these sticks and you can just take this whole back and just lay it right on the, the backpack and you could probably throw one cam buckle strap over this whole setup and off you go so you don't have to manage sticks independently put them on each side of the backpacks find somewhere to put your platform you can literally just toss all of this right on i mean you could even walk out with this um i had a similar setup i did with the the cfx and the Latitude, Latitude Carbon uh, series uh, sticks. And uh, this is a very similar approach to just a neat little kit that you can pack and take with you. And uh, it, it should do the job as far as getting in, getting out, small footprint with the use of a, a small kit with these sticks and, and platform. Now, I don't know if these sticks will do well on the other platform. It might be a little bit wider. Or maybe it's just a little bit longer. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll, I'll get into that review at a later time on the larger platform. But overall, sub seven pounds for three sticks and a platform. I don't think that you're going to be able to, to do wrong here with this kit. Um, and again, it's, it's fairly affordable when you look at what you get out of this uh, setup at 220 pounds. 220 bucks for the platform so and uh, the dimensions on this are 11 and a half inches at its widest point across and about nine inches deep so not the longest platform so you know if you're kind of pivoting around the tree you can kind of really just get one boot on this instead of two if you're kind of trying to stand off the side 
Um, but you can get both feet on this comfortably and stand up if you want to take load out of the saddle or even turn around and spin around uh, to, to face away from the tree. It, it, it can happen. Um, we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons on this. Clearly weight, price point, feature rich. Uh, they're all good discussion points. Let's go into uh, the traction here really quick. Now this the traction is extremely just sharp. Um, it, it doesn't have any soft edges. It is gonna, it's gonna bite onto your boot. And uh, I know just pivoting and working around this for quite some time, it, it does hold one of the better platforms for handling side pressure as well. Um, and maybe that's just given the uh, design here. And but you also get these nice big surface areas for leveraging your boot and placement around it to just pivot and work around the tree. So outside of that, it does have some port holes that you can see. And then uh, when folded down, you'll actually see the adjustment knob is actually located on the back. So this is where you're gonna have to make adjustments here. Now the placement of this isn't really ideal. Um, so if you were to make any adjustments or fine tune adjustments after the word, afterward, you kind of have to get out of the platform, get out of the, you know on your climbing stick and make a fine-tune adjustment but you're really gonna have to do that regardless of whatever platform you go with it doesn't have an adjustment dial or knob so for this, this is a first run platform uh, I've spoke with Chad he's gonna be adding a dial on this just to make it a little bit easier not as cumbersome to make an adjustment here uh, feedback on that was just wearing gloves and stuff it kind of made it a little bit more difficult so that'll be getting updated one thing on this you'll see it is forming some deformation here it's kind of mushrooming on this back plate um, and that is pretty typical you do see that with a lot of other platform posts on the market so it's just really going to be a cosmetic defect um, but doesn't change anything on the structural or integrity side of things on this platform um, it is machined and chamfered so here on the the back side this is all machined out and what this is is just going to help create leverage create a wedge and really when you can that over it's really going to dig and bite into the tree and just create more surface area more friction and it's really going to hold up well um, now you pair that with this post and this design the distance from where this post is at the plate to the back is pretty far away so it's naturally going to create a lot of leverage and tension on that cam buckle strap because it's pushing further off from the tree on where this post is centered to where the cam buckle straps are when they're tight when you go to set this up so one thing on this within the instructions for this actually it says not to toe cam it and uh, i find that interesting um it this isn't you know you'll see some issues with uh, companies suggesting not to toe cam their products um, specifically for some tree stand companies and that's just due to a not not as thick of a material being cut from the 6061 aluminum and they're going with a, trying to get away with a smaller uh, you know range just to kind of cut some weight out of the kit but it'll in turn almost work against it and, and bend the platform but going back into the bat wing here it does come tapped and uh, there's no hardware on the back side it's got four points of contact here also chamfered and uh, this just screws in with a grade a bolt and uh, is a pretty clean kind of finished look um, overall but there is some slight negative feedback around the bat wing for me um, as you kind of shift weight i was hearing some kind of crack cracking or popping sounds and i think just inherently when this is under so much leverage and uh, friction with it being tapped and press fit it I don't know maybe my bolt was a little bit loose but it would start to make some kind of slight pops uh, type sound so um, I I have a, a theory of just adding Loctite to this to prevent that from happening but I haven't added it yet because I wanted to be able to review this and also share those sounds on the review before I make any modifications or changes to this platform. Um, but overall, the other thing, like I said, is this this uh, material is cut out. It's very sharp. You're kind of going to feel that same consistency throughout the post and the Versa button. 
So, you know, you're just going to have to use hockey tape or stealth strips or some sandpaper or Dremel and just kind of soften that edge if you're worried about it cutting into the cam buckle strap or the amp steel. And eventually it will because it's just going to be under tension and those sharp edges are going to start to cut into the, that material. So just one thing to uh, kind of keep an eye on or uh, anyways, uh, just you know, have to work through, uh, you know, to get it hunt ready. Uh, it does have one point metal to metal contact here and it's gonna come down the center post right here through this big cutout and actually touch here. So, you know, if you are stealth stripping this around the Versa button, it's not gonna hurt to just go up another couple inches and protect that. So when you do have that metal to metal contact, it doesn't hit on the uh, platform base. Now, overall, the design on this thing is, is very interesting because it, it's a weldless design. So it's really, I mean, three machine parts. You have the platform, the post, and the V-bracket, this bat wing, and uh, outside of some hardware, that's it. So, I mean, this thing is literally just getting slapped together with some nuts and bolts and that kind of thing, and off it goes. Um, now, this one is anodized, but uh, I believe future uh, orders for these platforms are, are gonna go to a different Cerakote process. So. I'll be excited to see what happens there. I'll probably end up getting these, uh, the large platform just to do a comparison of these two. But overall, just impressions on this lightweight little kit. And uh, we'll, we'll get this thing on the tree here soon. But um, the other last point that I'll mention is on this design. Now there's an aluminum tube that kind of is, there's a cutout within this and the, the little pin sits in there and it feeds through and then basically it's, it's mounted in through you know these the, the hardware you see here that's tapped there's four points of contact all drilled in and then they're they're also acting as uh, like side plate type washers to keep the post in line but what that does is that creates a single point of failure um, so if there's anything that's going to fail on it it's going to be at this post that's it. There's there's nothing else that's gonna break on this thing, um, and, and uh, based off the design, when you cam this over and you actually put all that weight into this post down here, it's pulling up. So because of how it's designed, the uh, aluminum uh, uh, rod that's in there is pulling up through the platform. So all the mechanical leverage and everything that's going up through the platform, I mean, it's just not going to break. And from the testing that I've heard from what, what Chad has provided is that that breaking force was at like 1,300, 1,400 pounds. So uh, it's gonna take a lot of force and a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, most cam buckle straps are rated for 500 pounds. So if it saw so much force, on this post it would probably pop at the cam buckle strap before failure on on this platform so overall um the last thing i kind of want to point out is this is a basically a brand new company first run gen one product here and um you know when i compare this against uh, some of the other big dogs out there tethered lone wolf you name it trophy line that you know, have had years and years and years of experience uh, in, in making these. And I, I look at a company that just literally just dropped this out of the sky first run. <laughs> I mean, you, you look at the quality of this versus where those other guys were when they first started. This is phenomenal. Um, it's, it is machined with precision. There isn't any water jet cut marks. There's nothing. This stuff is like... I mean, it, everything in this is just the quality is smooth. The cutouts are exact. There isn't any issues or cosmetic issues that I'm seeing on this platform other than that little mushrooming that's starting on the backside of this post, which is typical for nearly every platform that I've ever looked at or used. So um, I, I just think that this is for the price point coming in at 220 bucks. Uh, this is a no-brainer if you're looking for a small footprint platform and looking to cut a little bit of weight out of your system this fall. Um, we'll throw this on a tree uh, and just give you some, some real-world uh, uh, 
experience from, from just using this platform. So let's take it outside. So now that we got through the initial setup kind of stage, we are just gonna step into this and see how it handles side pressure without tow camming it as the instructions say. The only thing that we did, install it around the tree and cam it over. So we're gonna see how it handles side pressure without the tow cam process. So I got my saddle on and I'm just gonna clip in right here now. Put a weight into my saddle. So now we can work off of this and uh, see how it handles side pressure. Here we go. You hear that little click in there? on the tree here we are pushing off the the back There's a little bit of wiggle and, and jiggle but it's like the leverage of tension that that platform poses onto that strap really does a good job at putting a lot of tension into this so it does it, like I said this is one of the better platforms for handling side pressure in my opinion and you can see the overall just it doesn't feel spongy I'm sure it's probably moving a little bit on camera here for you but it's not horrible at all it's actually with the design it's I mean it's wider and not as long so it, I think it's just gonna do better because just the distance away from the tree is pretty minimal but trying to jump on this or pulse or again do anything malicious we're just this is again going back to standing on this platform without it being toe cammed so this is pretty solid so if you want to toe cam it go for it I'm gonna do it right now just so we'll see if there's a, a big difference so I'm gonna toe cam this even though it says not to folks don't do this at home I'm doing this for your guys's pleasure 
probably voiding the warranty as we speak. Um, yeah, it won't even let me. That is intense. So <laughs> it's just it's doing a really good job at biting into the tree. Uh, that's some serious pressure right there. I'm gonna try with this one. There it goes. All right, so we got it up. And uh, I'm gonna just apply a lot of force into this. It, it doesn't really want to tow cam. Uh, I'm gonna have to step down. This might just be a testament to just, again, the, the amount of leverage that's being displaced. Uh, it's just not going to allow you to tow cam it if you have the strap completely tight to the tree. I could probably loosen this a little bit, which would allow me to tow cam it, but again, I think it's just proving the point that you don't have to tow cam this platform at all but you'll see what i'm doing when i set this is uh i'm pulling up and then camming it over so that this strap tries to stay as parallel to the platform you don't want it going up towards this bat wing so these teeth in here are just, they're biting exceptionally well. Everything is in here. So I'll show you guys a, uh, a close up here of, of what I'm seeing. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that now. Those teeth are just wedging themselves in there, that chamfered edge, just burying in. And then uh, we'll see if we can get down in there. Those chamfered teeth, Looks like about two points of contact on each side. And uh, it's just doing a, a really good job there at maintaining that leverage. Yeah, outside of that, um, you know, that's the feedback I have on this platform is it's overall, I think it's a good quality platform from a company that's just come out. And uh, I think they got a lot to offer and bring to the table as far as uh, just the overall um, design, the quality that you're going to get, and uh, the price point and, and weight is a no-brainer for me. Um, and not that it's always about weight, but it's just a very awesome little machine kit that you get. And uh, I don't think you could go wrong buying this uh, platform. Now you might, one thing to note on that Loctite deal uh, were the popping sounds that I was hearing on this. Uh, Chad is also adding Loctite to all of the future uh, platforms, so which uh, will help reduce or mitigate any of those sounds that I was hearing on this first run batch. So, again, this is kind of like early feedback on a, a Gen 1 product, but there's not much here uh, as far as negatives are concerned. Um, so, definitely worth checking out, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.